And Happy New Year from your good buddy, Head of Section, Joseph Darlington from Being James Bond. I'm joining my good friends over at the James Bond and Friends podcast for something a little different for New Year's. As you probably know, it's cocktail time. So we're going to do a little Ian Fleming inspired activity today. We're going to create a cocktail from scratch and then we're going to give it a name. Uh, naturally, it's a James Bond related cocktail. So what I decided to go with was a variation on the Vesper. Now you probably already know that we would be using our good friend Lillet uh, to do a Vesper. I'm going to change it up a little bit, but keep the same basic structure the same. And uh, once we get to the end, we're going to have to name our kind of would-be Vesper. So let's build our cocktail and then at the end, we'll come up with an appropriate name. Let's get going. So first I'm going to chill my glass. So I'm just going to dump a few ice cubes in here. And put it to the side and let it sit while I'm preparing the cocktail. So we're doing a variation on the Vesper. So I'm going to keep the measurements the same. The original Vesper calls for three measures of Gordon's. I'm going to use Bombay Sapphire. I find it to be very smooth. I like other gins for my gin and tonics, but for martinis, I usually stick with Sapphire. So three measures of gin. And then one measure of vodka. Again, I want smooth. So for this, I'm gonna stick with Grey Goose. So one measure of vodka. And for my liqueur, which I used to flavor the cocktail, as we said, we would normally go with Lillet, but here I'm gonna go with Saint Germain. It's a French elderberry flavored liqueur, very floral, almost perfumey, but not enough to put you off. So for this, I'm gonna use a half measure of Saint Germain. And because I didn't ice down my cocktail first, I can take my time. But now it's time to ice it and shake it. So I'm gonna add the concoction to my tins, place one on top of the other with the small one facing me in case there's any splashage. And then you shake the hell out of it. If you've ever seen Bar Rescue, you know you're supposed to smile when you shake. I don't always do that. But shake it really good until you get good frost on your tin. Not just the cold condensation that'll happen pretty quickly, but when you genuinely feel a little frost start to form where it's uncomfortable to hold it, that's when you know you're done. As James Bond will tell you, a martini should be ice cold. Once you're done, you'll dump the ice from your cocktail glass, which should now also be nice and chilled. And then you pour your cocktail into your glass. Since our cocktail now is four and a half ounces plus a little water from the ice, it should fill this glass perfectly. The last thing you do is add a thin slice of lemon peel. Now for a vodka martini, I would probably grab a big old potato peeler and put a very large slice of lemon peel in the glass, but I want a delicate hint of citrus here so I'm going to use this channel knife and I'm going to cut long, thin slices and I'm doing this over the glass so that the essence, the little mist of juice that comes off the skin also goes onto the glass to give it some extra flavor. And once I've properly garnished the cocktail, it is now complete. Alrighty, and there is our final product. Now. Let's give it a taste. It's a very silky texture. Um, the, the, the citrus and the bitterness from a traditional Vesper is usually what you think of here. It's a much more, it's a silky uh, smooth drink. And the aromatics from the elderberry, uh, it really kind of comes up to meet you before you take your first sip. So I would definitely give this one a try. What are we gonna call her? Well. Uh, two things come to mind. First off, I'm thinking of, uh, again, my favorite film, Casino Royale, where the Vesper 
uh, was inspired. Uh, there's another great Bond girl in that film who comes to mind. And also there's a name that pops up in the short story of You to a Kill. Uh, a French name, which is where our elderberry liqueur here comes from. Uh, so with that, I'm going to call this one a Solange. Happy New Year again from your good buddy, head of section, Joe Darlington, and my good friends over at the James Bond and Friends podcast. Have a great 2020, and I will be seeing you throughout the year. So enjoy, and I'll see you soon.